Owning my own business is one of the greatest feelings a, a person could ever have. My dream would be to have at least, you know, 20, 30 different products on the market, all produced here in Belize. We are all single mothers and that's why we are trying, working hard on this product so that we could get it on the market and start to make money for ourselves. Financing is key to a successful company. And when women, especially women, lack the financial resources to make their business successful, it, it becomes a major hindrance. For the most part, women don't usually have access to things like collateral. They don't really have knowledge of how the banking system works. And the reality is that they also know that the interest rates that are charged by the banks are, are, are very high. I heard marketplace. I wanted to get women from all over the country together. Women that are working on different industries. I wanted to speak to them and, and really get a sense of where is it that they're at and where is it that they would want to go. We wanted to know what are the challenges that they face, um, who are these potential success stories. And, and it was really incredible to see um, that we have so many amazing, determined women out there who are working every day to build their businesses, but because of lack of finance, it's a major deterrent to, to getting them to that next level. Well, me, I have six kids. I have, I'm a stay-at-home mom. The vinegar we're making with the co cooperative is a natural gourmet product. We use food from around the farm, around the, the farm. We all work together. If we go gather the fruits, we go together, we come back, we pee, we wash, we do everything together. It's been three years now since they've been together. My role is more of a support and like a, a more like a trainer um, to ensure that we have a, a quality product, a viable product for the market. We're all single mothers and that's why we're trying, working hard on this product. Yes, we uh, do good with a startup fund, grantor thing to start, start and will set us on a starting point, yes. The outlook is excellent. They have a great potential. However, if they have to depend on commercial banks financing, then they will not be able to survive. And the major problem with the bank is that we don't have any collateral to borrow any loan. And they have this high interest rate that it's very hard for us to borrow any loan at all as single parents. Once the women are able to access startup capital, they can design their factory and their distillery properly. It could hit all the supermarkets here in Belize and it has a very good potential to be exported. I left the security of my job because I wanted more. Campus Corner is a, is a family business. It's a nice atmosphere. It's somewhere where you could sit, meet people, have a fresh squeezed juice or a home cooked food. There's things that I want to do and I, so I set goals for myself and I try to reach the goals as best as I know how, meaning that I don't just go to the top, I work my way up, you know. One of my biggest dreams is, is to expand Campus Corner. Finance is one of my biggest problems, you know. Um, when you don't have money, you could have all the dreams and you could, you know, you could want to do this, but if you don't have the money to do it, then you're at a standstill. In Oshmulka, um group we have 14 women that are working. When we start this group we didn't have not even a cent to, to start. No, I came with the idea that I will go and check at the bank and see um, if 
they could give us like a small loan no? just to start. So I came with the idea we need that money, what, how we could do it. And they are in, the women are interested that they want to work together. So I came with the idea I will do the loan personal under my name. Well, the $1,000 that I borrowed for the group, it took me like um, a year and a half because we couldn't give a lot, you know, just a little bit that was coming. Well, if they give us like grant, grant funds, then yes, that is okay for us. But for doing a loan at the bank, I don't think so because we can't do that. We can't afford it for right now. Vowels Bay Trading Company is a very new company and our focus and goal is to manufacture and trade luxury goods in Belize. The products that we currently carry are two different sets. We have an outdoor line that we've developed. Right now what we have in it are uh, fire starters and citronella candles. Uh, we also have a line of indoor products. We've started with luxury scented candles. They're all soy based candles. We started off very recently and we got such an overwhelmingly positive response from people really liking the product. Right now I'm working out of my living room slash dining room and space is very limited. So in order for us to be able to expand and become more efficient and more productive, I need a designated workspace. Everything that we've invested into the company in terms of finances has been from our savings. Venturing into the market of starting to shop around with the banks, I, it's, it's very scary to me. And that's kind of where I'm stuck because I know that in order to be able to improve in production, become more efficient and produce more, I need to expand. I sell by arts and crafts with, at the craft center so I can get more money for my kids. And a, a lot of visitors came, came and they buy my arts and crafts also to help my family. With the women's group, we want to, um, to expand the building. We don't have, have enough space to, to display our arts and crafts because more of the women want to join the group and we, can't, we won't be able to accept them because we don't have enough space. M most of the people here in the village, they don't send their daughter to school. But when the ladies get, get a job or they find somewhere to get the money, they can send their daughter to school like what I'm doing with my daughter because I did not went to high school. Making the arts and crafts, that's, that helped me a lot with my, with my child because I'm, I'm getting more money to send my child to school. We believe that given the opportunity to have access to small loans and small grants, they will be able to build their businesses and in turn help their families, their communities, and build the country. When a woman can generate her own income, it almost guarantees that that large portion of the finances will be put back into the family. If they invest in, in women, then they are not just investing in, in just for us, but in, in our family, our kids. When women have economic power, they can make better choices for their families, such as education, healthcare, food choices. So investing in women is changing our community one family at a time. That's what we want. We want to provide that opportunity for these women. We know that in spite of the challenges that they face, women in Belize are inspiring and they show resilience and determination and with that same resilience and determination they will be able to break the cycle of poverty. Studies show that when these women have access to finance they have a significant impact on the quality of life of their families, their children and therefore the community and that community is Belize.